Hey guys, I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV. Welcome to The OC Show, Season 4, Episode 16. And tonight I will be joined by Bill Zoid and Two Lewis. Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Uh, no, it's going good. Perfect, yeah, perfect. No, um, th there's not going to be any after party today. We want to, to make everyone clear just before we start the, the show. And tonight we have a, a few interesting topics. And we're going to be talking mostly about some of the big competitions as well as some of the uh, latest news of the hardware that's been released just today. So let's start with uh, a quick competition update. Uh, let's not talk about the Country Cup because we're just going to uh, spend a lot of time discussing that uh, between us in the, in the next, uh, next few uh, topics. But uh, except Country Cup, what is going on, Tullius, on the OC esports side? Um, well, we've got the ROG OC Showdown team edition. So, so that's that's... That's running for another, for another two days, 14 hours. And um, we've got 85 teams already taking part, a uh, fair amount of competition. And it's getting to that point where, you know, you're gonna, you, we are going to start seeing the results come in thick and fast within the next, I'd say, within the next day, you're going to start seeing the, the true state of, like, who's going to come in first, second, third, I would think, you know, if there are any sandbags, which I'm willing to bet there are. So... Yeah, but there's going to be sandbag anywhere. You know that, huh? For sure, for sure, for sure. You, there, there, there could even be some major upsets. But this is this is definitely the competition I'm going to be keeping a look at because interesting things are going on, and there's a fair amount of competition. So, uh, yeah, we've got um, uh, Reddit overclocking, which is still holding the lead and pretty well. Two twenty six. Uh, second place is the French Legion, which is with two hundred ten points. Alza OC is doing really well with 208 points, so that's just like, that's a place for the taking right there. I, I'd just like to say we're not sandbagging, we're just really slow to get through our benchmarks. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm benching stage 4 and 5 now, basically, <laughs> after the show. Okay, so, so. Yeah, so, okay. And, and so, there's a few guys benching stage 1 and 2, basically, until Monday. So, <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 that's going great for us. Yeah, so I mean, second or first is, yeah, I mean, you guys are really close. Like, we won the win. Yeah, we almost yeah. won the last, like, I mean, yep. I wasn't at the team on the team before, but we almost won the last OC showdown. Yeah. So this time yeah. it's like. Yeah. We got to. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you guys are pretty well organized, so you have to you have to make sure you deliver on what you well organized. what you can do. Exactly. We're literally benching stage one and two, at, like, still benching those. Um, because we didn't get enough pe like we don't have all five submissions for stage two yet even um, right. we're working on improving stage one and stage five is a disaster because it's just like finding somebody with both the right gpu and cpu for it is kind of being a problem i mean we have one really really good result but we need a follow-up that isn't completely terrible um right. so that, right. that's kind of right. a bit of a mess right now <laughs> And stage four is a similar situation where it's just like a lot of the like there was plans to bench a lot of like FX on uh, LN2 for it, which yeah, I was yeah. originally like offering to bench FX, and then something uh -huh. happened. Like every, like the guys in the Czech Republic have FX, so it was like okay, they'll take care of that. Something happened, so I'm not sure what what's happening with the FX score, but I'm basically benching APUs right now for stage four. So four. these things, <clears throat> yeah, A6 is. Yeah, and it's just like, it's a, you know, well-organized. We have lots of hardware. <laughs> <laughs> the organization bit is, nah. <laughs> like, you, you have stuff now, you have, you have to deliver on stuff. It's not because you have stuff that you can do the scores, you still have to do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, for stage five, we still have a situation like, I don't have an A-core to use because I don't have any Asus motherboards for high-end desktop. Um, and actually, I don't even have any Asus graphics cards. Um, so, well, there's a Fury X that I have that's Asus, but I don't have like any modern Asus graphics cards. Right. So right. that that's a mess. And then it's like, and there's a lot of other guys on the team who are like, I have Asus graphics card, but no Asus high-end desktop motherboard, or I have high-end desktop Asus motherboard, but no Asus graphics card. And it's just oh, like, wow, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's just a, it's really just a matter of uh, getting all the hardware in the in the right place at the right time. Yeah, I mean ah. the rest of the stages are fine. It's not yeah. that difficult to have just a motherboard. Now, actually, yeah. speaking uh, speaking of uh, right stuff, right time. It seems like your former team R slash overclocking is actually in the first part. So, yeah, they're like, do, do you feel much well, better so time, far? <laughs> hey, to be fair, last time we were leading, and then like 24 hours before the end, Mad Shrimps dumped a 
boatload of sandbags <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Actually, oh, Matthew is, is 12. Yeah, they're lurking in 12 yeah, right now. Yeah, they're, they're lying about their <laughs> scores. <laughs> <laughs> That's all sandbags. They're just sitting there biding yeah. their time. They don't know how we're going to own them all. <laughs> I like to see the French Legion as, uh, as well. French Legion was uh, created like just a few months ago, so they are all pretty new. They have a lot of rookies as well in that uh, in that team, so that's uh, that's quite good to see them uh, back on the top. It's like uh, the uh, the phoenix of uh, Clown C. Like some of the former guys from there actually just uh, made that team, but it's uh, it's good uh -huh. to see a lot of people actually uh, participating in, uh, in in that uh, in that team cup. That's uh, always fun to see. And uh, Team MLG from uh, UK as well is actually uh, seventh. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what happens in the next few, uh, actually next few days because that's going to be ending soon, right? Nice. Yeah. This is a, this is this is basically ending in two days and fourteen hours. So there's yeah, it's going to start heating up pretty soon. And like Bilzoid was saying, they're benching until Monday. So. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what other competition do we have uh, today for, uh, for then, the show? And then, yeah, well, we'll just skip the Asia Report Country Cup for now. But I mean, there's just I'll just go through Ukraine, India, United States, Australia, Italy, and Brazil. That's the order. But this is just very early. This is going to change for sure. <laughs> We're going to have um, the time to speak about that a little bit more in yeah, that show. Yeah, too much because the six stages and all of them are like really good stages. And there's lots to talk about. There's and like Bilzerit was actually saying before the show started, it's like you <laughs> don't sell the punch. Don't sell the punch yet. Don't sell the punch yet. Any other competition yeah. we have to talk about before we uh, um, actually jump into the, number, uh, well, the debate? There's rookie number forty nine, which is getting over in fourteen hours. So that's again very very close to completion. You've got over three over three hundred people participating in that one. Three hundred and three. That's sure. uh, that's good. That's a lot. That's that's really good. Uh, that's really by the good. way, just saying, in the top five, there is four French guys. Good job, guys. Okay. Good job. Good job, France, really. And there's and there's and there's, and there's one guy from the UK, Hannibal Lecter. I love that name. Uh, in in, in <laughs> position, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this is basically getting over in another fourteen hours. Um, Sky Lead, Wick, Wickport, and Orion, 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 two, three, five, eight. The, that's basically the top three. And then you've got Hannibal, Lecter, and Ackman. That's the top five that's kind of holding the position right now. But yeah, again, it'll be interesting to see if like there's like sandbagging from like even the rookie. I don't think they, so. I don't think so. They were benching the live. They were sandbagging. That means they're learning good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they, they would be sandbagging. So yeah. I don't think they would be sandbagging that much, especially because uh, I think that was Sky Lead and... And Wickpot, they were actually benching live on the French Legion Facebook page uh, just just this afternoon. So that's like very like recent scores. That that's not that's not sandbagging at this point. Mm -hmm. And interesting thing is that Skylead uh, is in the lead. Uh, he's skying in the lead for the Rookie Rumble 49 Intel, but he's also uh, third in the Rookie Rumble AMD. So that's AMD. very good for him that, to be both in yeah. represented in both that. And that's don't forget yeah. that's rookie. It's been three months, less than three months. He's here. So three that's very good to see them. Uh, multiple yeah. platforms already. Yeah, that's very nice. That's very nice. That is really really very nice. And even uh, even the rookie rumble for AMD. That's just right now. There's eleven overclockers. Guys, come on, come on. There's three points. There's three freaking points. The problem oh, with the AMD one is the Windows Seven require. Like, yeah, is a Windows Seven requirement. Like, because there's a lot of people. Like, I've seen it on uh, the Discord for our slash overclocking. Right, they come in yeah. and they're like, I have yeah. Ryzen, and the first thing we tell them is like, Well, you need to get Windows Seven, and they're like, Well, I'm not. Yeah, <laughs> that's the end of that. And exactly. I mean, there's no way I mean, around that because ultimately Windows hard, 10 right? doesn't keep like because you can cheat on Windows 10 so hard by changing yeah. BCLK that it's just like, well, we can't do anything about it. Yeah. It's just like you're either going to bench Windows 7 or you're not going to bench at all. Yeah, that's actually it's... sad. And that's actually what is uh, yeah. keeping keeping uh, the all the AMD scores a little bit in a... Uh... Like, yeah. like, to, to like, actually like, just, yeah, uh, just the lack of, more. basically the lack of Ryzen submissions on HWR can be entirely attributed to the Windows <laughs> Seven requirement because, like, the you need. To get to, it, it's yeah. a bit harder to get running. I mean, Azrock yeah. have an excellent utility, which you just literally you take your Windows ISO, you run it through the utility, bam, it works on Ryzen without any issues. But it's still, it's like most people don't want to go and make a whole separate 
partition. I mean, on their not, main not hard everyone drive. has a second hard drive or want to go no, to the No, I mean, I've, I've dual booted. All, like, I've had a benching OS even on a single hard drive system for eight. Like, when I first started our HW Bot, I literally just made like a hundred gig partition, which was bench drive for my yeah. main. So, but it's like still most people don't want to do that because at that point it becomes more than just, oh, hey, look, this is, I, I can run some benchmarks and join this competition. It's like I need to go and install a whole separate uh set of windows and then install the bloody benchmarks and then it's just like no too much work so yeah that's that's uh, kind of unfortunate i is does amd have plans to patch this because i know intel patched that for skylake and kb Light. i don't know i don't know I, I don't have any insider info about that so far no, I, I well, why. maybe maybe with uh what is it the next iteration of ryzen will uh i hope fixed. so but it's too bad because it's like it's it's basically um phasing out just one complete platform which is very successful otherwise just to have that it's like ah oh, it's yeah. it's so it's a bit sad in a way because that's uh i mean ryzen have some good potential it's very it's a nice platform as well it's actually finally competing against intel and it's like eh, yeah we can yeah, use that in a competitive it's really environment competitive like, in some benchmarks like gpu pi it's ridiculously competitive cinebench but it's just uh yeah, the, the Windows 7 requirement just kills it. Because for even, like, even I was benching Windows 10 for ages and just not posting any scores. Because yeah. it was just too yeah, much work. Yeah, to... yeah. Like, I do now have a Windows 7 install, which I'm happy to use, but it's just until I made that install, it was just like, and basically I, until yeah. I decided to bench LN2, I didn't bother with making a proper Correct. install to do proper mm. submissions. And actually, there's a good okay. point from uh, Dagunzi. You cannot download the Windows 7 ISOs anymore. You need to go yeah, on, the, I mean, on the peer to peer and, and all that. You cannot just have them straight from Microsoft anymore. So it's yeah, more like, my, Microsoft, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's the same. I mean, it, it's okay to allow people to use any kind of OSs they want if that's for trying to reach out the best core. Like we saw like all the people trying to, to bench on Windows XP on the new platform that was <laughs> quite 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 a thing i would say but forcing I mean, people like, out even windows like, 7 you like windows 7 is kind of getting that because it's just better at some of the older benchmarks yeah because it's like for i think 3d mark vantage mm -hmm. you need seven it's like it runs like trash on everything else so <laughs> um and there's a few other benchmarks out there which behave like that and it's just well um that that's going to become you know as platforms keep getting newer and uh, support gets dropped for more and more OSs, that's just going to be a thing. I think. Yeah, actually, so. Windows 10 is supposed to be the last, they say, like, the last Windows, but that's not going to happen. Like, last. like last big Windows release. Windows. Yeah, it's yeah, just, that, I mean, they will do, like, 3D Mark. I mean, just, just update, it, update it, like, more and more and more and more. And at some point, it's like, okay, this is deprecated. It's not, like, completely off. It's just deprecated. Don't use it anymore. Like, we yeah. won't support it anymore. And that's how they will, unless they have to change the, the core code base, there's no reason why they they have to do it anymore. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, one of the um, key point limitations for the Rookie Rumble AMD so far. All right. Do you want to start in by taking about talking about the news? And then we're going to talk about the Country Cup. Because I know that once we're going to start talking about the Country Cup, that's that's going to be like a just a never-ending fight. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think I'm that passionate about the Czech Republic's OC scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, you you could be like be a be a traitor to your own country and just side by UK. <laughs> it's a little late to change flags now. I think. Oh, you can, I mean, I, I won't be surprised if there would be some lobbying from Australia to have some of the people with nice core to actually change uh, change flags. <laughs> They're, mean, they're up for everything. Lobbying they do. <laughs> they, they are up for everything to win again this year. I mean, they they really want to. They were so they are so proud of it. I mean, they they were opening. They were talking that at the uh, at PAX when uh, they had the panel last weekend. They were saying, "Yeah, they yeah the Australia is like around. three times winner of the Country Cup. Yeah, it's like ah." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's get into the news first. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> Nvidia really announced GeForce GTX 1070 Ti. Yay! Good for everyone. And a shitload of them, like 35 of them or 30 of them. Like it, th this card, just like doesn't really make that much sense <laughs> if you think about it, because it's so close to a 1080 and it's so close to a 1070 because it's in between them. 
you're so, getting a 1080. Yeah, it's practically a 1080, literally. I mean, it, it just yeah, it has just a massive memory bottleneck. Yeah, like yeah. That, that's why it's on GDDR5 because Nvidia knew if they gave it GDDR5X, it would eat the 1080. I mean, come on, yeah. there's like a, like what 125 uh, CUDA cores difference. It's, it's not that yeah. much. Yeah. Pretty much. And, and you can actually see 1070's memory bottleneck once you like crank up the core clock and they have even less CUDA cores than this. So th this is, yeah. So, it, so that's basically a, 10, a 1080 with GDDR5 instead of GDDR5X. Yeah. That's basically yeah. it. Just a, bit, yeah, basically. a little bit castrated, but uh, that's, that's pretty much. So now the reason, yeah. the real reason is why are they releasing that one? And there's a lot of speculation, especially because they all lock all the partners to do pre uh, factory overclocks uh, products. So basically, there's no 1070 Ti on the market that are factory overclocked. But yeah, and no. it's led to the partners doing some silly things with their like frequencies because basically, like they're distributing OC profiles for various overclocking utilities and that kind of thing to try get around that. Because Nvidia basically said you're all shipping at 1607 megahertz base. And uh, well, actually, it's even worse than that. It's like it's you don't get the green light, which is the uh, NVIDIA system for allowing add in board partner to actually sell the card. So that's why we cannot find any more card with like hardware things you can connect to it. Like the I guess the no, that was the I'm issue with the EVGA EV board things. And oh, right, like and now they say controller. if you don't ship with that specific BIOS and if you don't ship with that specific features, like basically don't allow factory overclock sync, you won't be able to sell it. We won't we won't agree we won't agree for you to sell it. And it's like I mean, Palette has a card that looks like it has Vault mod points built into it, but I'm not sure if they're enabled. Could be, so. but they, they, I think because I was reading on the, that was on Tom's hardware earlier today, and there was this uh I think there was Igor that was uh speaking about uh, about that. And he was telling that yeah the BIOS says if we look at the old like the very first one of the 1070 Ti that went on the market, the BIOSes are actually the ones that were supposed to be factory overclocked, which were not green lighted by uh, by Nvidia, according to what we what we can read online. And but once again, the issue is that, yeah, we have this awesome new hardware that everyone can th can use. It's like Nvidia is like, oh fuck, we are screwing up our sales of the 1080, so let's lock everyone out. Oh, yeah, and yeah. t an overclocked 1070 Ti actually eat, like matches a 1080. So yeah. it would make the 1080 Founders Edition kind of pointless. So <laughs> it does. Yeah, it does. I mean, like, but, but, and, like and, right now, it's just like especially at yeah, way lower in the cost. I mean, the 1070 Ti is at a 449 USD official 50? price. Yeah, worth the 600. Uh, no, 1080 is dropped in price. They're like around 500 ish. I mean, I'm not sure yeah. what the MSRP is listed, but they are cheaper to buy. A lot okay. cheaper than they used to be. So, what what's funny is like we have all the vendors that came up with like the the amp, the TI amp for Zotag, the uh, Strix version for Asus, the uh, yeah no now now they're putting like a pre bind on the boxes. So, so like, that's the, the thing. Bind for it, an overclock, but it they're look just like it looks like they are not yeah, allowed to use done. overclocking as a promotion or upsell uh, like an upsell argument, which in in what is looking like, NVIDIA is kind of like locking everyone out to keep the overclocking argument for the founder editions? I, I, I hope not. I hope that not. Will, I, hope, that I hope that's not going to happen. You were saying, Tullius? Yeah, I, I was saying that would be just down at city because um, if it, it's in the first place, they've A, forced everybody to ship at 1607 and the same base Buku's clock. Now, the way, the interesting way uh, I hear MSI and Asus are, like, are getting around this is by giving profiles in Afterburner, which like at least Asus... Zotac is apparently doing it as well for their Firestorm utility. Yeah, they've given like a manual entry thing, which you just like, you make the file and you put it in there and it's, you've got additional power limits and stuff, true. Um, it just says the same thing. It'll ship at the 1607, but if you click the OC profile, blah, 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 it goes up to 1883 or whatever the boost, the boost clock that they claim. So the, the interesting ways of getting around this limitation from uh, different manufacturers, but the fact is that they're being forced to ship them all at the same frequency, which is kind of silly. 
I mean, I get the point that any faster and you'd already make the 1080 look bad. Um, but but it does yeah. make it really hard to differentiate between cards. It does. It's basically it does. It come does. down to temperatures. Yeah, yeah. Because and the, the 1080 and the 1080 Thunder Edition had issue with the temperature at first when it was first on the market. So I it's, mean, that's it's always it's all the Founders <laughs> Editions. It's a blower cooler. When will people <laughs> learn these things suck by design? <laughs> it's a blower cooler. It sucks intrinsically. It's never going to have enough surface area, and it's never going to like. Right? Think about it. If I have a this big fan, right, instead of a this big hole through the card, then it's just like. Yeah, yeah it, it's a no-brainer. And, 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 and like and those, like, those coolers suck. The, the only argument for those is if you're going to swap to a water block because you get the reference uh, PCB, reference. or you're yeah, so like, I wouldn't even use them for SLI setups because if it throttles when the card is alone, then why the hell wouldn't it throttle more when there's when this airflow SLI. block in front of it, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I get it for maybe like small form factor cases where you don't want the card dumping heat onto the, like the CPU or something, but everywhere else it's just like this is idiotic. <laughs> True, true. I mean, unless you're like in a mini IDX environment where you're running a card on air and you want the heat out of that time. But still, that or then the only reason for reference cards to exist is because you can you can still put them in like four U servers and stuff like that. Like they still fit, whereas these bigger cards have issues fitting in like so I guess. But like, yeah, I mean pointless. But uh, and 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 it's forcing these people to pull random stuff like Asus is going and doing like the he, they've, they've got two different cards. One is like a binned version of the 1070 Ti for like $50 more, which is what? Like, what does that even say? Like, <laughs> it's just <laughs> silly. It's just really, really silly, in my opinion, the whole situation. Uh, yeah, yeah. So 1070 Ti. So, 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 yeah, if we sum up like 1070 Ti, it's about 40 bucks off from a 1080, 40 to 60 yeah. bucks off from a 1080. Uh, basically, which one should you get? The, the cheapest yeah. one? <laughs> anyway, that's yeah, gonna be the same. The, yeah, cheapest one with the best cooler and then overclock it yourself. And then yeah. overclock it. So, yeah. so the key point is overclock that yourself. Always. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you're and always gonna get like, more result for that. And it's at the same price you know, point? Maybe, you know, this is something that Intel could do and maybe do all us overclock as a favor. Like, bring overclocking back. Is that even on the freaking uh, unlocked CPUs, like lockdown, turbo lockdown, you want it, go do it manually, like learn something, <laughs> like freaking overclock something. <laughs> so I'm all becoming freaking auto, you know, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like e even like the 4.7 or 4.8 gigahertz. Uh, right, take uh, off turbo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like at least yeah, like make yeah. it buy that, That's just silly because that just breaks the value for like, because ultimately it's a value subtraction when, when you take off that higher frequency. So yeah. It doesn't make any no, sense it's that there. it's there. It's 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 there. We've given it to you, but we're gonna force you to go into BIOS and maybe like Yeah, and this is just super silly. <laughs> yeah. No, no, that's that does that that doesn't make any sense to do. But yeah, and the thing is about the 1070 Ti is it's just not very competitive, even like if you look at it like a price point thing. Cause if you're going to be overclocking a card anyway, I'd argue go get a Vega 56. Put a big 64 BIOS on it <laughs> and run yeah. over a 1080. See, that's the AMD fanboy speaking right now. <laughs> but it calls, I mean, no, the only issue is if your power supply is small. If you have a small power supply, that's going to go really badly. But yeah, that's going to go bad. Other, yeah. Otherwise, it, it's a really good way to like get more performance for basically the same price. So. Um, and now the supply is also getting better, right? With like Vega 56. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> Apparently, AMD started doing the rebates again that the 1070 Ti dropped. So they've kind of <laughs> kind of forced AMD to drop the price on that. But yeah. So now we just have to find out that as it's a, t uh, an, a new 1080, kind of ish, uh, for a little bit cheaper. Like let's see how long TI that's going to last in the in the price. <laughs> yeah, let's see how long that's going to last in the price. So we'll see. There's actually a good uh, <laughs> a, a a good suggestion. Like, can we get like Performance DLCs. <laughs> Here's the new BIOS. <laughs> Free performance for you. I mean, there was a BIOS that was, well, they have put out BIOSes to like patch issues in the past, like the Micron GDDR5 1070s shipped with too little uh, memory voltage. So those yeah. were crashing left, left, right, and center. Yeah, but, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, but other than that, it's just, well, actually, like that would be a, uh, Imagine that, like you buy a graphics card and then you buy like BIOS updates for it. That'd be <laughs> awful. That'd be hey, so AMD did, uh, Intel did that. 
It's like, hey, yeah, uh, no, that was for the warranty. That was for the warranty. It's like, hey, you can buy no, your no. CPU. It's like, hey, you can buy this extra warranty thing. You can burn your CPU if you want. It's like, okay. Yeah, but that's like that, that's like uh, a war extended improved warranty that that I kind of can get it. No, I'm talking like you buy a 1080 Founders Edition, right? And then it's like, oh, you want 10% more performance? Here's a fan speed. Here's a BIOS with increased fan speed. You know what? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the next step. That's going to be the next step. I'm pretty sure you can. I, I, I guarantee does heads that, down. I'm buying a single card from. I'm not going to even mention their name. It's just going to be that down, company. In the next <laughs> two company. years, in, hands down, I can say it. In the next two years, we will have more and more of that. Like register, well, that register for like limited warranty. But like unlock overclocking everything. I'm pretty sure Nvidia will do that at some point. Once they will be able to lock everything out from everyone, all the add-in bond partner will be locked out. They will have this because they will have the demon for it. I hope so. And they will have to come up with something like, okay, sure. Here's the full unlock. Give us our serial yeah, number no. and there's no Intel RMA for that. you. They did that. We were actually right because Intel did that with the Pentium G6951 or something like that. They charged you like $50 to unlock more threads. They give yeah, you a bio. Hyper threading. There was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to happen. I mean, that's, that's what is happening in games for the past like five to eight years. Uh, that's gonna happen to hardware yeah, but because it's terrible they're gonna. There. I know, it's I know, but that's... I don't want to see it here. If Nvidia yeah, does no, it, it's, it's just gonna wrong. be like I'm not even gonna say their name anymore. It's just gonna be that company that's completely insane. Yeah, they made a graphics card again. Uh, <laughs> after that, once again, it's always the same thing. Do you do that to uh, withheld performances from people, or do you do that to thanks people back? There's always like, what is the main reason why you do it? I mean, Tesla, they unlock more power from their battery because yeah. of the of the hurricanes like what you had this power here before it's like yeah sure but it's not supposed to be used we, we weren't 100 percent certain your battery wouldn't explode several months after testing we were like your battery definitely won't explode here's but, an update but That's officially fair. it's not but when nvidia does it it's like i just want to burn my card on my own right take my warranty away or whatever but don't lock it down just don't <laughs> Just don't freaking lock it down. It's well, like, they're kind of looking. They're, they're kind of looking it down now, as they say, "Hey, no overclocking for anyone." Anyway, that's a that's a, a long discussion we might have. Uh, speaking of Nvidia, still, there's a new Titan coming. What the hell? There's a new, it's a new Titan limited edition with RGB. <laughs> is that confirmed or are you just guessing that <laughs> I mean that would if they just made the RGB logo on the side and called it the wait 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 no gold cool because it's like supposed to be the collector's edition or something yeah the, 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 the collector's edition normally yeah. like aluminum it's yeah. not going to be black it's going to be gold, gold plated <laughs> it's going to be gold plated heat sink yay <laughs> an RGB <laughs> And RGB, and we're gonna have a. Fancy and it's gonna fan. have. I mean, I, I and don't it's gonna like have this. a blower cooler. <laughs> of yeah. course, no, but it's like I'm wondering. Like I did hear some. Like maybe they could release a 24 gig version, except that would be too enticing for like machine learning people. True. So they True. wouldn't do that because it would cannibalize Teslas. Oh yeah, bad leaps, bad leaps. It take even more people away from the quadros. Anyway, the Tesla. Anyway, the Nvidia they do their that whatever, three, 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 there was a special driver which unlocked like three times the performance on like the Titan. I, I forget which uh, driver version it was, but they did that and that created chaos in the professional scene because people were like, dude, suddenly <laughs> a Titan, uh, a Titan XP is timeline with like a $4,000, $5,000 quadro and people were not very happy. <laughs> like yeah. why is that based? Um, Actually, I do not think that's gonna be gold. Uh, that was a joke. Uh, no, but yeah, according <laughs> according to the the trader, uh, they never used this LED kind of uh, glowing thing in any of the previous thing they did. Yeah, like they wouldn't light up the heat. Sink, yeah, which so, I think that yeah. that like that, that would was be one cool. Of the first things I thought would look cool would be lighting up the heatsink fins since they've made them visible anyway. But yeah. it's still like, what are they gonna do to this card to like? Is it literally just a visual update, or oh, check out how it says no, they're just gonna release, the just gonna release a new BIOS with some extra features on it, which means not locked on overclocking, but you still no, have no, to no, buy no, them. No, 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 no. This is Nvidia, man. They're gonna keep the overclocking locked. What they're gonna do oh, okay. is they're gonna no. lift the power limit by by like 
another 50 watts and the card now runs two gigahertz instead of wait no the normal one was like 1750 after you let it stabilize after some time the issue in the so titan is always like 1800 and they'll be like oh look it's uh, it's faster uh, yeah, and it says and also it says collector's edition but it does look like it might be a visual change um i mean the trailer the heatsink doesn't look like anything we've seen before at least it does it looks a bit different so it might be like uh <laughs> It's like they might visual upgrade. I, I think it'll be a visual change, and they might bump the BIOS power limit a bit. Maybe awesome. fan speed. Maybe awesome. they'll fix. But maybe they'll improve the blower cooler. It'll blow no, less. Let's, <laughs> let's not. Let's blow, start I mean, it, if we look at the last picture that was like the last screenshot, it kind of looked like a fancy blower cooler as well. But it could be. I mean, kind of like uh, you know when you have it a does water look block. Like a, bit, a bit of a visual. Yeah, change. look at that. Yeah. You've got some sort of you've got some sort of cover on top of the fan, kind of a thing. Or is yeah. That looks like, like like that 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 just looks so dumb though. <laughs> it's that just like you're making the blower suck worse. worse. Yeah, really, you're gonna make it worse. Who cares? And, it's a collector edition. And, you will still buy it. I mean, people yeah, will thing, still buy it. It's like when you get a collector's edition, right? You want it to be like special in a good way. Not like yeah. the collector. This is the worst version of the Titan ever made. I mean, sure, that's a good reason to. That's a, that's wait, wait, wait. We don't know it. yet. The worst. <laughs> we don't know yet. But it, it's. Also, it's like, it, we don't know it, yet it if that's going like to be the worst one, one ever. I mean, we have to wait for the uh, for the first test and and all that to to be actually. Uh, I going. wonder what they're going to price it at. Since it's a collector's edition, do you think they'll raise the price point even higher? Of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I mean, look at what they did. They locked all their uh, adding bolt partner out of the Titan thing. So no one was getting GPU. They have to buy the card from NVIDIA. Then they, there was no overclocking on that. Then they came up with the founder edition, which is a little bit overclocked and a little bit uh, higher price and a little bit early. There's no reference card, dude. So the founder's edition what? is just a reference There's... card with a fancier name. Yeah. That's my view on it. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's like uh, burning up the average test price for the same product. It's okay. And then now they lock everyone out of overclocking for the 1070 Ti. They come up with the new Titan again. It's like, basically, they, will, they are just trying to increase. They're, they are basically limiting features, putting everyone back on the same start. And then now it's like in, like features extra extra money. I mean extra price. I mean that's how business works. They want to increase their average price for the hardware. they're stuff to put on the card. That's the thing. Like RGB. They can the power RGB. That's good. RGB. That's a stupid fucking feature. <laughs> RGB. But look, guys, we're missing the whole point. The reason why we're paying so much money is if you look closely at the heatsink, it says collector's edition. That's where the money is going. That's what you're paying. Yeah, making <laughs> making that many letters on a, on a bit of aluminum is really expensive. expensive. Yeah. <laughs> and now we don't know. Maybe there is LEDs in the head thing, uh, eating, and maybe the LED uh, the LED is controlled by the temperature of the GPU or the usage of the GPU, which would be, to my opinion, would be weird if that turns red. Because first it says that it's too hot, <laughs> or it looks like a Vega, which is not what <laughs> Nvidia wants. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see. Maybe like one side is green, the other side is red. Who knows? We'll have to. Uh, we'll have to wait. There is no no release date. There was just a teaser on the uh, on the Nvidia YouTube page. That's it. That's the only information that exists as of today. There is no information about release or anything. So just wait and see. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for Nvidia. Okay, we will stop talking. We stop talking about Nvidia for for a while. Um, yeah, something we missed last week is the Open Bench Table Mini. Uh, okay, I'm part of the project. I have to say it. Uh, uh, but we came up with the uh, the Mini. You guys saw the prototype uh, before that, like Computex and all that. Uh, the Mini is now on sales for the past week and a half. Like like yeah. last Tuesday. If I'm correct, not not Tuesday this week, Tuesday last week, and it's already shipping. So we went, we're supposed to ship in two weeks from now, and actually we're a little mm -hmm. bit upfront. So <laughs> I can announce mine is on the way, and uh, yeah, I think that maybe by next week I will add it. So we'll do in the after party, we could actually do a, a mounting or like. I wish it, you guys just had build a bit. Quite yeah, because just building the bench table yeah. on its own doesn't take any time at all. Yeah, unless you, unless I spend time explaining how we came up with like some part of the design and things. So if you have any questions about the bench table mini, uh, 
f for sure tuning next week because I'm I mean that was shipped earlier uh, this week so I should have them by uh, by next week for I sure. I have a question. Yeah. How did you make it so cute? <laughs> Well, the, it's the, adorable, man. It's true. It's so cute. It's freaking adorable. Thanks. Uh, the thing is, we kept the exact same concept for the big one and the small one. So the ratio is the same. Uh, the kind of concept for the legs, etc., et is all the same. And yeah, it's yeah. just uh, just a little bit more polished. Like the, the bracket is a, a new kind yeah. of bracket. It looks much better this way. And it's actually more, uh, there's more compatibility as well with things that will be coming in the next few uh, weeks or months that I cannot tell yet because it's not completely defined yet, but yeah. Uh, otherwise, it's all the same concept, like two less and the legs can travel with it. It's The first one was 1.82 kilos. This one is 800 grams. Wow. That's nothing. So that, that's, uh, yeah, yeah that's, that is like really light. Yeah, that is super light, and it's still like a piece of aluminium. It's just the way we uh, we just just see and see it is like it's not it's not that much more than uh, than actually just a piece of aluminium. Uh, the rubber feet are improved as well. Uh, instead of having like a a, um, a white tape, it's actually something that is inside the feet, so it will never come out or come slide on the table fall or off like like mine. Yeah, did. or fall off like yours. I mean, mine as well. Uh, like the like small of the some of the small uh, feet. Uh, like yeah, rubber stamp like underneath. My rubber tabs, I think I'm missing three of them now, so I've just. <laughs> but it's just, I just slide regular... it around. It's, like, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just a, all just the way up, thing. and I yeah. tried to slide it in around, and if you push on it hard, <clears> like <throat> it doesn't slide easy, and if you push on it hard enough, the glue gives up. So... Yeah, actually, the, the, the rubber is too rubberish. Well, the, yeah. the glue holding the rubber in yeah. place, like the rubber does an excellent job of making sure the table doesn't slide around. Well, I was uh, really I, pleased with that. The but rubber, make... tr like half acidly tried to move it around, it would would rip the r rubber right off. So, yeah, it's like yeah. the rubber made an excellent job of not sliding from the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, the rest of the table starts going eventually. <laughs> the rubber stays. <laughs> Uh, and we add up um, Kensington lock as well. Uh, that was something that we did not think was um, needed at first, but when we had more and more requests from people actually on trade shows and, and stuff like that, it's like, yay, just put a Kensington lock on it, like your laptop or your screens or anything, and then that's going to stay there. So that uh, so that's cool. It's available in uh, silver, black, and red, the exact same colors as the regular OBT. Um, the silver is uh, 164 US shipping included. Uh, the black is 160, uh, 76 and the bl uh, the red one is 189 so I'm actually getting a black one uh, next week. Yeah. And one thing as well is you, we announced as well that there is, uh, where is the word to buy, uh, screw kit as well. That was something that was highly requested and people were asking like, hey, uh, no, where can, I, where can I get? One. Yeah. yeah, where can I get more screws and things? Uh, you now can actually just go buy them on the website as well. Uh, the the first one was very very like when I say very that was just a few and full of units. Uh, this one will have more units, so don't hesitate to just get them. I hope the stock will last longer than the previous one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that's something we have now. That's something we plan on having as well in the um, in, uh, in in the coming uh, in the coming uh, evolution of the uh, of the bench table. I mean, the, we see that with the BC One Mini, it's the same screws, it's the same standoff, it's the same system. So, you can reuse them, and you can scale up with uh, with like a uh, with uh, with this one. And yeah, uh, actually, if you want the Mini, uh, that's for Mini Mini ITX and SFX. Uh, so Mini ITX uh, systems. Uh, there is no restriction on the side of the, uh, of the size of the GPU, which is something that you can actually plug the 1080 Ti Kingpin Edition on top of it because there is nothing that will limit the space for it. So you can use any kind of graphic card. It's cards too for bad, it. like the the OBT Mini. It's just too bad that right now we don't have like uh, the impact boards from Asus. Like we've kind of lost a lot of the. Extreme OC targeted uh, Mini ITX. But there's a lot of I mean, there was really uh, AMD one, one coming. But... There's quite a few well, MD1 coming. Has the gaming five, the mm -hmm. Z270. If you're benching Z270, that's a pretty solid mini ITX motherboard. But what? yeah, other than that, it's just like I can't think of a board. Um, oh well, there's be... uh, there's quite a few mini ITX board actually on the market. There's a quite a few. Yeah, there's the, a uh... lot of mini ITX board. A lot of them are trash. But but not, <laughs> yeah. not okay. Let's say there's not 
anymore the impact, which is targeted specifically for extreme overclockers. But as as we speak, there's the, the X370 the Strix, there's the yeah, uh, Z370 yeah. uh, Gigabyte one, the mini AC Wi-Fi thing as well, which yeah. is pretty versatile as well. Uh, I want, also, I really want to, actually, if someone from Astro is watching, I really want to get my end on the X299 AC, the X299 mini ITX from Astrock. I really want to yeah. just just do yes, a build please. with that one. Yes, please. Yes, please. <laughs> I mean, that, <laughs> that would be awesome, right? Speedboard. But I'm pretty sure the first thing I will try to mount is like I have the I still have the big 420 Alpha Cool um, uh, all-in-one cooler here. I will try to mount a 420 on the bench table. Uh-huh. <laughs> just it just to have like really the cooler to be like like three times the size of the <laughs> of the table. Just lift up and fall <laughs> over. I'm pretty sure if the PSU is on the right side and the cooler on the right side, uh, that's not going to happen. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that, you know what? Work. We're just going to test next week when I receive it. <laughs> yeah, definitely test that. That's <laughs> like, I don't, that's why I don't like the whole rad sticking up in the air design of basically all the OBTs is just like, it doesn't look like it's going to, like if the rad is heavy enough, it just feels like it's going to fall over. Yeah. Uh, oh, and one last thing. There was a question on the live chat. Do we ship to the US? We ship worldwide. Yeah. So wherever you you live, we're gonna ship there. No worry. All right. Uh, well, uh, that's it. I, I mean, unless you guys want to speak more about that, I think we just uh, we could be like doing like something uh, more dedicated to that next week. <clears throat> oh yeah, for sure. Because like I mean, I know what I'm gonna be ordering, the red one, because everybody knows red makes it go faster. <laughs> so the red one. Red. I'm, I'm oh wait, wait. That's anymore. interesting. It's. In, in India, it's red go faster because in France, blue go faster. <laughs> yeah, it is. That, I, I swear it's red goes faster everywhere. Yeah. I mean, that's the AMD fanboy guy speaking now. <laughs> 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 no, oh, but no. actually, yeah. it's uh, I, I always say that blue is better because blue is faster. Always. I, actually, I'm, I'm no, going fast cooler. now. Blue is yeah. cooler. And the, the, the red is always faster. Like, it's the more aggressive color. It's like, guy, if you meet a red car on the highway, yeah, he's the guy speeding and, and tailgating you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is the RGB? Uh, there is no... There is no RGB option Imagine for the like vegetable. You acrylic. can do your own if you want. Dude. And trust me, with the anodized uh, finish on the, on the table, if you have a motherboard that is RGB, you will see it. Oh, I look. I, no, I was just thinking. Imagine a like, um, like the milky acrylic, like the not completely see through, like the the frosty one. Yeah, the frosted like, acrylic. Yeah. OBT with LEDs in, uh, embedded in that. It could be it's any embedded. color you want. <laughs> I mean, it would be structurally, it would be complete trash because it's plastic, but it I mean, look cool. I can do one. Like, honestly, until you touch it. You know what? <laughs> Uh, I, I could I could do that as just a side project just for fun. I could do one like this. I I know the like, people hey, that can actually do CNC for that. Just a really I mean, you know those prototype because it would be so know, like structurally it would be uh, maybe the mini ITX wouldn't be too bad because it's not as long. But like if you did the full ITX one, I uh, imagine that's just gonna crack. That's just gonna crack anything on it. Yeah. Uh, um, you know those you know those kind of thickish uh, those um, cutting boards you get like of the white frosted plastic that those. Those things are pretty much indestructible. So uh, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, it's what it's is used to replace here. some of the. Um, uh, actually, my dad is a uh, um, um, agricultural mechanics, so they use uh -huh. that kind of uh, of of stuff to replace some part of the broken things when they have to replace it. Just for sometimes, they just using it that before they actually receive the other one, or a space where you have to fit like a, like a rod inside another one. And to have like yeah. a, like something moving in in that without having like a, a piece of metal, so that's what that's right. the, I I don't I ever remember the exact name of the of that things. But well, we do. I guess we could do a live completely just for for the mini when I will uh, when I will have it here. Um, but let's move to the next topic because we have one more topic, one question, and then move to the country cup. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, Asus released the WS X299 uh, motherboard workstation. So, w w what's that? It's, I mean, you know, <clears throat> the Asus, uh, it's the first batch of X299 proper, proper targeted towards workstation use motherboards that, you know, you should start seeing more and more of. And uh, 
from the looks of it, Asus always does like a very high-end workstation motherboard. You usually they have like a you know fully loaded one with like 10 GB and like the works thrown at it. And this one doesn't really look like that. It's not even half as well featured as something like the Deluxe or uh, forget the Rapid Six Extreme or something like that. But it doesn't even have yeah, it doesn't have the same kit as the as as the Deluxe does. So oh um, oh oh, and there's no RGB. There's no RGB. Well, it's a workstation board. It better not be RGB. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's got a pretty decent heatsink. What I found interesting is, like, the, the, they've, they've kind of pulled the heat. It, the heatsink looks like it goes all the way all, all the way past the top two or three PCI Express slots as well, like, all the way down, which is an interest. The thing is, the yeah. heat pipe doesn't go that far. Yeah. So I don't, I can't see that being like. Super, well, I don't know what like it. It true. won't do that much. I feel like. True. And, I don't even know if it's one piece because all like because from the picture it kind of did look like. It one does piece, look, but, yeah, it does look like it's yeah. one piece. So I don't know, but it doesn't look like it's a uh, thermally like it would transfer very quickly yeah. into that other true. end. True. Um, true. True. But and it's like a. I'd say this is this isn't like the fully featured top end workstation board that I, I was expecting more aisles. I was expecting yeah, way more like uh, connectors more. in the back. Way more, way more. And the WS has almost always had four 16x slots. Like yeah, they so. even put PLX yeah. chips on all the Z2, like the Z170 WS. They put PLX chips to make sure that they had four, uh, four 16x or, slots on it. Or, so I'm really. This doesn't have that. They might do an X299, like a WS X299 okay. Deluxe or something. Because the thing is, yeah, they named yeah. it the Pro, which is really so weird. Weird. Because it's exactly. like, well, what do you go right. above Pro? I mean, <laughs> Asus has, you, you, I think Asus was the ones where they had, like, always it was Pro and then Deluxe above them. Deluxe. Yeah. But still, it's just, yeah, a bit odd. <laughs> it's I mean, a bit odd. That's, well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they are rebranding or readjusting their the, the lineup. But it's always it's difficult true. as a consumer to know unless you are actually super well connected and know exactly what they will come up with. And most of the time, they don't want people to know. So it's like, yeah, it's difficult to know. Uh, one thing I yeah. like as well is like there's two uh, M.2 uh, slots for it. They are just below the uh, the the, below the uh, yeah. And below and there's the, one uh, thing as well. It's like if we look at uh, at the picture of the board, just just on top of the first PCI Express slot, there is this uh, PCI Express 6 pin connector. So that might be actually to supply some extra power to the PCI Express and and all the things uh, yeah, if down, you down have the like board. Three, like if you have like three 75 watt PCIe cards without any extra power connectors on them themselves, they're going to cook a 24 pin. Yeah, they will manage it. That's true. Because th that's like, that's what always ha like, that's the main reason for that six pin header is just like, if you run any high power consumption PCIe cards, the 24 pin has only two 12 volt lines. And they're not always dedicated to PCIe power. And when they're not, it's just over really, really quick. And with let's that. face it, that's a workstation. So we can expect people to either use rendering cards, uh, not, not capture cards, capture sound cards, cards, storage. Oh yeah, storage yeah, yeah. cards, yeah, a big raid controller or something, and so that's uh, interesting to to see what can happen. So but that's going to be, be LGA twenty sixty six as well. Yeah, I'd be willing to wager money though that there is a fully there's like a fully featured higher board. board. Yeah. yeah. But nonetheless, interesting, interesting. This is the first proper proper workstation workstation class board we're seeing from any of the manufacturers. Like so far, it's always been like gaming pro or like you know like whatever it is but <clears throat> workstation workstation well this is one of the false boards we're seeing but what i'm surprised and, as i say is like it's the lack of uh, of ios lack of ios i mean we have so two surprised. two network okay that's fine perfect but we have two usb 3.1 10 gigs four usb 3 uh 3.1 5 gigs and four usb 2 good there is still usb 2 because some of the stuff don't work yeah. well with some of the usb 3 thing but Still, it's like, okay, good, but I mean, honestly, I can see a limitation with the number of uh, of things, especially for some people in the workstations. Like, they will plug yes. ton of, yes. sorry, ton of oh, things easily. for that. Easily. Two high-end GPUs, one RAID card, one video input card, and then you've got, like, maybe another, like, a red rocket or something, blah, blah, blah. So you can, you can, you can fill this guy up really quickly. Mm. All right. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll have to see... Uh, 
what can be uh, can be achieved with that one. We're gonna have to wait for the official test to be uh, to to be there to see what uh, what will what will be that. All right. Um, you wanna talk about the country cup for the next uh, ten minutes, or we can take <coughs> one questions from. Uh, actually, we so let's we, take one question before we, we jump to the one, country cup. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. one question from uh, that was Johannes Neustein. Uh, Newstein on YouTube. You asked a question in the comments that was, uh, I would like to see how the uh, 8350K overclocks. I guess it will be the best alternative for me. Uh, I play I play CSGO and I use Lightroom for my many for my computers. Uh, so, Bill Zoid, what can we expect in terms of frequency for the 8350K? So, this is super convenient. Silicon Lottery uh, recently published their statistics for binning of 8350Ks. Um, and 14% of all 80, 8350Ks will do 5.2 gigahertz. And they use a pretty, that's a really high voltage. That's at 1.45 volts. That's basically the max you would ever want to go. Um, with minus two AVX offset. And, uh, but they do do like a proper stress test. So basically, um, I, I'd say you should be averaging 5G. I mean, the, like like KB Lake, everything should be averaging 5 gigahertz. 5G. if you. Yeah, yeah. Really and for yeah. the actually, they have a five gigahertz bin, and fifty nine percent of eighty three fifty Ks hit the five gigahertz bin at one point four two five volts. Um, still with that minus two AVX offset, so that's four point eight gigahertz on AVX workloads. But yeah, I mean that that's pretty much what to expect. Like it's very similar to KB. Like it's just it's yeah, actually a bit better. Much, it's a bit yeah, better. Okay. Like you have a few more chips hitting five point two now. So true. That's pretty good. much guaranteed a 4.8, 4.9 gigahertz overclock, like even with a shit chip, like 4.8 should be very easy. But so yeah, I mean, I mean, I so think this is a little bit. Their worst the voltage, bit. I'm not too. The voltage, I'm not too keen on. Like the 1.4, whatever that that they're putting in into these chips, you know, like that might be a little bit too much for for like some people. Around 1.4 for 14 nanometer has been like recommended by manufacturers for ages. Like 1.42 to 1.5. Like MSI says 1.45, Asus yeah. says 1.42. Um yeah, so, so what, that's like that's the absolute limit kind of a thing. So yeah, you need a lot of yeah. cooling at that point. Yeah, and yeah, probably yeah. a D-lid. Um, True. But, well, we'll yeah, uh, then, so so that's it. Five gigs is what you can expect from it. Uh, playing CS:GO with that, that's going to be plenty of what you need. And yeah. Lightroom, that's going to be plenty of what you need as well. So that's that's not a big issue unless you're like doing like uh, batch processing of, of pictures. But I don't think that's uh, that's most of the uh, of your work. So guys, if you have more questions, if you're watching this on Twitch, you can always uh, send us your suggestion in the uh, in the form that is actually on the live chat now. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, you can actually just ask in the comments below and uh, we'll uh, try to uh, pick some of them to actually be in the next OC show. Uh, guys, we have uh, a little bit, little bit less than 10 minutes before the end of the show. I would like to focus for for the next, like, until the end of the show on the HWBot Country Cup 2017. So we talked a little bit about that one in the introduction, but, uh, well, Country Cup, it's basically... Represent your country. I mean, no team fight, right? Everyone, different teams. You represent your country. Gear up. Talk with the other guys. Try to uh, put aside any flame war that was going on in between the teams. All work together for your country. And then you can actually achieve to be maybe kicking Australia out from them claiming another new spot of the winner of the country cup because they are very proud of that uh so you know, on the live chat let us know who you are cheering for or in the comment if you watch this on youtube um let us know who you are actually cheering from like which country you will be helping out or actually looking to uh, to see them so tulius as of now it, i mean it's it just started right it started like uh, like yeah. two days ago uh who yeah. is in the lead the what course. what's happening so right now we've got Ukraine in the lead, India in second. Good job, <laughs> Kesa. Okay, like, see, that's not going to ask, you know that. That's, that's, that's not too bad. It's really early, but good stuff. And then you've got the you've got the United States in third. You've got Australia in fourth. Italy in fifth. Uh, Brazil in sixth. The United Kingdom in seventh. Israel in eighth. Check that out. Israel. And then you've got Germany in ninth. Austria in tenth and Canada in eleventh. What did you? What you tenth when we just started the show? 
Yeah, I think it hey. changed since we started the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's going to change a lot. So, um, I mean, let, let's let's do a, like a round table. Um, Tullius, if you participate, yeah. are you going to participate for India, I guess? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I okay. mean, it's tough for you guys. It's tough yeah, for actually, you. for you, that's easy. You're Indian, you live in India. <laughs> you, you bench for India. Okay, Bill Zoid, you're from Czech Republic. You bench for a Czech Republic-based team, and you live in UK. Who are you going to bench yeah. for? I, I Like, right now, it's I'm probably benching for Czech Republic or not benching the Team Cup at all. Uh <laughs> So I think I'm, I don't think I'm going to bench for the UK team. I mean, the UK guys is like the, it just doesn't seem fair, you know. Especially since the competition already started, it's a little late to be like picking sides. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. You can be like I guess you can be as long as you're not switched to like bench for Australia. That's fine. Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's like they were part of the Commonwealth at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> at that point, like, yeah, no, I think I, I might, because the problem is, it's just, it, it would kind of, the, the problem if I bench for Czech Republic, I see, is that we don't really have that many over, like, it, it looks like I'd be the only guy or one of two people to bench liquid nitrogen. I mean, uh, I mean, which there's... Point, it's just like, my efforts could be spent better elsewhere. <laughs> But, there, uh, there are countries that have not that many people that will be I, able I to know. bench under LN2. Like, that, this is the thing I don't like about competition. Yeah, Once I get into I mean, something and it says it's a competition, I want to win. <laughs> yeah, the thing I is, so, the thing is, you need to work with all the other people in your country. I mean, in Brazil, there, aren't there any will other people. <laughs> there will not be twenty people in Brazil that can bench over like uh, with LN2. That's not the point. The point is try to find yeah, but, like, everyone okay, that have the hardware to actually guys. do something. You need you need max five people. I mean minimum five people. Sorry, you need minimum. minimum five uh, no people, eight. Yeah. There is one with eight submission. I think. Oh, there's okay. one stage oh with right, eight yeah, submission. the super pie stage. Yeah. yeah, I was talking to uh, Elkim about that. I'm like, yeah, is there any plans for the country cup? And he's like, no, we're screwed because there's nobody in the Czech Republic who knows how to bench super pie, much less on liquid nitrogen. It's okay. Engine. That's the, that's the whole I point. I don't know how to bench super pie. I've never used XP. <laughs> <laughs> just like, mention the, the, the key stop. point the key point here is that at least do a score actually do score for your and country because yeah, like, there's a few things i want to do anyway so i'll just do like i'll probably do stage four i'll probably do stage five but not because it's part of the country cup it's just like i want to bench those things anyway and it's just gonna be like well it's on the it's part of the menu boys so <laughs> we're posting <laughs> scores for it but um yeah, it's we'll see. Just kind of so, like that. So, so you will be benching for Czech Republic or not benching at all for that competition. So you will not switch to UK for that. No. Okay. I, I'm very sorry, all the UK people. You're not getting my uh, GPU collection onto your games. <laughs> <laughs> because I actually so so like, you lost really friends like and you make new collection. enemies. Right, stage five is all G AMD GPUs. Stage four is AMD GPUs. Stage three is not AMD GPUs, but I think, it, and stage two is AMD CPUs. And it's like, I have pretty much like I have an eight core for stage uh, stage two. I have an eight core, a two core, and a single core AMD. Stage five, I have Vega fifty six, Vega sixty four, Fury X Fury. But it's just like, I can't even post all four cards, right? It's like, I can only post one score uh, per stage, so... Well, that's still one score, so... Yeah. Okay, we, we all understood that you don't want to... You don't want to help UK at all. We all understood <laughs> that. So, your your former uh, team that is now on the team manager says... Mikkel, he says, yeah, boo, Bilzoid, you're not cool. <laughs> <laughs> he, well, he's from the UK, so... <laughs> Yeah. Makes no, but sense. that's that's interesting because on my side I have this uh, this issue that I am part of the FFOC, so the French Federation of uh, Overclocking, which is actually Tiger eighty uh, one on the live chat. Hey, what's up? Um, I'm actually the vice president of the French uh, Federation of Overclocking. The thing is, I live in Canada. I'm helping out the Canadian people to actually bench for it. But should I bench for Canada or should I bench for France? Which is something I, I cannot answer yet. Well, 
that's the that's the trick. I think we could do a strobe for for um, for everyone to actually just uh, just tune in if yeah if you want me to bench for France or want me to bench for uh, for Canada. And and that's the thing. I will, I'm I'm ready to help anyone that uh, that want to you know that miss access to some hardware or need some tips and uh, and help things provide. Actually, if some of you guys uh, want to stream when you do meetup uh, in your country for the country cup, just uh, reach out to Overclocking TV or Truthman myself, and we'll try to find out a way to actually uh, get that published or promoted on the either on the show or uh, give you access to some of the uh, live channels and the different things to to actually promote what you guys do. And don't worry, it's not about sandbagging, it's not about giving away all the scores, it's just about showing that something is happening in your country to get more people involved and actually um, inclined into that. Um, while I'm doing the, the stropple, uh, can any of you guys actually re-explain how that works with the number of submissions per stages that have to be done with different users, etc.? Yeah, so <laughs> basically, um, everybody gets one submission per stage. So you need like Super Pi 32 million, you need eight people um, to do a submission each. And you also have to use like different, everybody needs to use like a different CPU. And that kind of rule set basically carries on through all the stages. So it's like, I might have four top end AMD GPUs. I can only post one AMD GPU score. Like Same. on one of those cards, I yeah, can't yeah. go and post a Vega and then another Vega and then a Fury, a Fury X and a seven nine seventy. So I can post one, and then you'd need to get like I, I guess if I manage to find somebody else from the Czech Republic in my area, I can make them force them to bench the other card. <laughs> Be like, okay, we're posting this on your account. Um, but yeah, you basically need a lot of people um, to fill up all the positions on each stage. Yeah, you need a lot of users. That's true. And that's one of the problems that even I'm going to face because it's back the most maybe three or four serious overclockers who I can like message and coordinate with and I know who will give the time and the effort to like put something in for the country cup and that's just not going to be enough. Nope, nope. But yeah, I mean competing will still be fun. So I'm definitely going to try and give this one a shot for sure. For sure. <laughs> Okay, I, I think I made a mistake about having a third choice in that in that poll. <laughs> <laughs> Why everybody's picking it? What's the third Every, choice? So, uh, which country should Antarctica. Truthman bench for in the country yeah, cup 2017? Antarctica, man. <laughs> France, Canada, or Antarctica? It's like, damn, I'm going for Antarctica again. Damn. <laughs> I'll join you in Antarctica. Seems like yeah. a cool place. <laughs> I just clicked on Antarctica as well. Oh, oh come wait. on! <laughs> <laughs> it's like people are changing their vote now. <laughs> actually just go on Antarctica. Okay, okay, I got it. I have to go change my country to Antarctica, yeah. Is that yeah. actually a country option on HW? I don't know. I don't You know what? I'm actually going, going to check it. That would be sick. Just like take all the ambient records. <laughs> Well, the thing is going to be costing very much just to bench something because I mean uh, I checked actually I checked to um, to go in Antarctica to uh, as a tourism not a tourist but uh, helping out some of the uh, expeditions. If you want to right. go there, it's about thirty k. What? Yeah, if you have thirty uh, thirty thousand dollars, you can actually go to Antarctica. Wow. You're not just going there for doing nothing, but still, it's like I mean it's super high scale kind of uh, of things, but. As it's limited resources, limited uh, access to the continent as well. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's uh, actually I would love to to help out in in, in a mission there, but sadly that's they crazy. don't take uh, nerds out uh, <laughs> like me on, on these kind of missions unless we pay big bucks. But honestly, I would be I would be willing to to go there. That's there's uh, this place and there's one in the uh, uh, north of uh, Norway, Svalbard, where you have the vault, where you have oh, uh, yeah. all the all the seeds and, and all that, so... The vault, the seed vault. Yeah, the seed vault. So, yeah. guys, I guess I have to change my... Uh, okay. Okay, I th thank you, not. Thank you, not. Now I have to be in Antarctica, and all the Canadian people will kick me out of the Skype uh, discussion because I choose, uh, I, I choose another country. It's, <laughs> not, it's not fair. <laughs> Make, make stupid polls, win stupid prizes, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. You guys can see it. I, I, I will I will do it live with you guys. Uh, yeah, my email address is not, I mean, something that is uh, private anyway. So see here. So that's my uh, my account, Truthman, right? Country, Antarctica. <laughs> I have to change the flag though. Custom country flag. No, I don't want custom country flag. Save change. There, there. I am now part of Antarctica. Thank you. <laughs> Not. <laughs> All right, so... Ah, uh, yeah, you guys didn't saw it. Okay, uh, I'm now part of Antarctica as a country because I was not on the on the right thing. So yeah, if you look at uh, if you look at my actually profile page, I should be showing up as the man from Antarctica. <laughs> See, country Antarctica. So I will be benching in the country cup by myself unless builds will join me. I'll join you. All right, guys. All right, guys. The show <laughs> is near the end. Let's the do win. that thing. L one more thing. Do you guys want Bilzoid to bench for Country Cup for Antarctica, Czech Republic, or UK? Just let, let me get this uh, this poll going on. Everybody's going to vote Antarctica again. Let's Actually, Antarctica it would be fun that everyone let's vote for UK. <laughs> Everybody just wants just to get... bench Antarctica. Make one huge Antarctica team. Dan Cobb here. Dan Cobb, bro, can you change countries for this cop? <laughs> we want Antarctica <laughs> to win. <laughs> All right, folks. It's time. That's the last. Uh, that's gonna be the last thing we do in the in the show. That's uh. There we go. So I want to see the result for that. So should Bilzoid bench for UK, Czech Republic or Antarctica in the HWBOT 2017 Country Cup? E well, it seems we're going to be a two-man team. <laughs> well, you're not alone on that frozen wasteland, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, boy. That was quick. And... <laughs> And the people speak. Like, with the next words. country in line is UK. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because I know a lot of people from the UK and they want my graphics cards, but they're not getting them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, once we have 20 votes, that's going to be it. That's going to be the, the final decision, that 20 votes. <laughs> so we need five, five more. <laughs> five more votes is going to make this a tie. Yeah. Actually, if yeah. they decide to dump it on the UK. <laughs> Let's make Pro Team Antarctica. All right, guys, I think that's the uh, that's kind of the end of the show right now. So, Bilzoid, you have to go change your country to Antarctica. Yeah, calling Dan Kopp also if you're watching. Bro, Antarctica, please, hook it up. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? That would be a, a very nice thing of like bringing awareness about uh, some countries when you like have all the pro guys benching for the same one for country yeah, and, and then you know what we should do we should like send the screenshot to like some of the scientists there in in, in antarctica and like what have you guys been up to <laughs> who's benching we need to know <laughs> okay i can't wait to have like vatican city just for just for the sake of it all right, guys, that's the end of the show. It's been a very nice hour with you guys. Uh, out of this hour, we now have myself, Truthman, and Bills with Benching for Antarctica in the Country Cup. Uh, that was fun to have you guys, Billzoid and Tullius here. Tonight, there's no after party that's going to be here for next week. So tune in next week, Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time or 9 p.m. UTC. So that's around the evening on Friday in Europe and pretty much in the, in the night, actually, for, for people in uh, uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, thank you very much, you. Thank you very much, Billzoid. Thank you guys watching this. It's awesome to, uh, to be here and to do that show. We're going to see you next okay. week. Until next time keep pushing it and drop the like button follow subscribe and all that on twitch and the comment on youtube is just gonna answer that before next week and go team antarctica yeah. <laughs> go team antarctica yeah <laughs>